Hi friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel and we are on our way to Dollar Tree in Middleton, Idaho. And I say we because Chris is driving and so Middleton is not that far from where we live. And one of you left a comment letting me know that there was a brand new Dollar Tree there that I needed to go check out. So that's what I'm going to do today. thing I noticed about this store inside is how much space there is. They have a lot of room to grow and I think they are still getting stock in to fill up the shelves. Notice that Dollar Tree is expanding this line of cake decorating items. They have various tools for uh, adding designs to the frosting on your cakes. They have piping bags and tips and uh, just a variety of things. So that's kind of fun if you're into cake decorating or if you'd like to try it out but you don't want to spend a ton of money.
was excited to see that they had this chenille yarn because I need it for a DIY, but I need it in the color gray. And they had all these other beautiful colors and no gray. So I'm kind of laughing at this because it's a pet IQ puzzle. You put a treat in it for your dog. Our dog would just eat like the whole thing, plastic and all. Okay, so here are my thoughts on that Dollar Tree. He said it opened just like a month ago and I thought it was really interesting that everything was a dollar. It didn't even open as a dollar 25. So that was interesting. I don't know if they're gonna change it, but for now it's a dollar. Uh, the store is super clean, very spacious, and uh, it had pretty much the same products that most of the other stores have, but it was just very organized and very well laid out. So I did buy a few things, and so I will uh, show you what I got once I get home. Every month I like to give away a mystery box full of Dollar Tree items. I try to find those things that are hard to find in your stores. If you would like to enter this month's giveaway for March, be sure to leave a comment on this video. And the winner for February's mystery box is Jeannie McKinney. Congratulations, Jeannie. So let me show you everything I picked up. I got these cute little galvanized buckets with the Easter designs. This says Cottontail Farms, Open Daily, Carrots, Chocolates, Eggs. And I got one design, it's really cute. I also got the little truck with the carrots in the back. And of course the little Easter gnome it says egg hunt on his sign happy Easter on the bottom so cute this is a fun little Easter sign I picked up I love the little bunny garland on there with the patterns and so I think I'm going to use the bunny garland for something and uh, I did pick up a couple of these I also found a little Easter cutting board signs and these are cute the way they are but they are also fun to DIY with so they had this design and they also have the carrot design so those are super fun another Easter sign that is new this year I believe is this style with the galvanized saying on it Easter blessings I think that's so pretty and I am going to be doing a DIY with that and probably removing that galvanized saying off of this sign and adding it to something else. These garden signs are really cute. They're fun patterns and sayings, but I love them because they are perfect for doing DIYs with. I have found several uses for this size of round a piece. For example, I used it as the base for this lantern that I made a while back. I will put the link to this video in the description box so that you can uh, check out how to make this project if you're interested in that. I also got several packs of these eggs. They look like they're made from shiplap. They had them in several different colors and there's two in a package. I thought these would be fun to use for some DIYs. And I also found these cute spring napkins. I love them. Of course it says it's all about the journey and you know with my channel name being Love and Life's Journey I just had to pick these up but I think those are so cute for spring. Some other Easter items that I got are these little speckled eggs, just they're just plastic eggs. They have them in the multicolor and then they also have them in gold. And those are good to use for Easter crafts. I also like these foam eggs. I think the colors are really pretty and Easter is one of those holidays that I kind of like to have some of the fun colors. So. These are uh, really pretty and they're a little bit glittery, but not like over the top. And this is the first year that I have seen this garland, uh, the little plastic eggs in just a string of them. 
And so for $1.25, this is a pretty good deal to use in your uh, DIYs and crafts as well. In the crafter square section, I picked up a couple of these craft spatulas. I really like using these uh, for getting labels off of things or just seems like you always need something to scrape adhesive things or uh, something. So uh, these are a really good tool and I will be throwing one of these in my mystery box giveaway. So uh, make sure you leave me a comment and enter to win uh, the March Dollar Tree mystery box. My crafter square had a ton more vinyl for using with uh, Cricut or Silhouette. This is a permanent vinyl, but it has a pattern and I thought that was just really pretty. And so uh, I thought I would maybe give that a try. A new product I found that piqued my interest was this silicone travel straw. I do not like paper straws. They're a great idea, but I just hate how they get all soggy and soft. So um, I thought this might be a good option to have in my purse or in my backpack when we're traveling. And so it comes with a little cleaning brush and the silicone straw inside of this little case. And I did use the little brush to clean the straw and now I'm going to give it a try in this glass of water. It looks a little funky because it was folded up in that little container, so it's a little squirrely looking, but uh, let's see if it has like any weird taste or anything. It actually doesn't. It is great, um, works well, and so I'd say for a regular size glass, and if you don't mind having kind of a squirrely looking straw, then that's a good option. I did find a couple of new glassware pieces that I really like. This vase is so pretty. I love the colors on that. And then this little square container that's iridescent that has the lid that's kind of a rose gold color. That is really pretty as well. I did find in the floral and garden section this uh, cloche that is smaller than the regular ones that they care, have been carrying. So this is the regular size that I have seen in the past and I picked up previously. This is the new size and it has a brown base instead of the black. And also in the garden section I grabbed one of these planters and I just like the texture and the size and the shape of it. The last couple of items that I picked up were these twine carrots with the little raffia tops and then I also got an unfinished wood rabbit shape and so we are going to jump in and do a couple of DIYs using these items right now. And on this first project, I'm going to be testing out this Crafter Square hot glue gun and the glue sticks from Dollar Tree. I've been curious to know how this works because honestly, a hot glue gun for a dollar just seems a little sketchy. So I'm going to get this hot glue gun plugged in and heating up. I like to use a glass trivet from Dollar Tree uh, to put under my glue guns because the hot glue just pops right off of this. And so um, I'm going to uh, get this hot glue gun heating up. For this first project, I will be using the wood bunny shape and I'm going to remove the hanger from that. And since I couldn't find the gray chenille yarn at Dollar Tree, I picked up this large skein at Walmart. It was between six and seven dollars. It's way more than I need, but I will have it on hand to make more projects. I'm going to be wrapping my bunny in this yarn so I am securing it to the back with my hot glue gun and then I'm just going to start wrapping. So I'm going to start at the base of the ears and work down first and I'm going to 
wrap it around fairly tightly and then just secure it with hot glue wherever it needs it to help hold it in place. One suggestion and something I wish I would have done is to paint the bunny shape a light gray color first because then it will be easier to wrap the bunny and not have unfinished wood showing through. So a couple of observations about the glue gun. It doesn't seem to release very much glue when I squeeze the trigger, but then it seems to continuously be uh, putting glue out as it's sitting there. So making a little tower of glue on my glass trivet. So I'm not terribly impressed yet. Once I get to the feet, I am going to just continue so that the main body part is covered and I'm not going to worry about covering all parts of the feet because I'm going to be uh, going over them again. So I'm just finishing off the body and making sure that it is all covered with yarn. Next I'm going to take my yarn and I am going to wrap it kind of in a diagonal direction across the feet and I'm uh, doing this uh, just to uh, give it some dimension and um, just make it a little bit more interesting. Once I have the feet done, then I'm going to basically do the same thing with the ears. So I'm going to attach the yarn at the base of the ears on the back side and then just wrap it around. And again, I did use some hot glue to secure it when necessary. And then at the very tips of the ears, I used hot glue to finish it off. So now my whole bunny is wrapped in the chenille yarn and I had quite a bit of yarn left over. So I think uh, a couple of skeins from Dollar Tree would be plenty if you can find it, um, but I have a lot left over to use for another project. To finish my bunny off, I'm going to use this burlap ribbon that is also from Dollar Tree just to tie a bow around one of the ears. So that's all there is to this cute little bunny, but now we need to make a little something to go along with her. So I'm going to be using this little galvanized bucket from Dollar Tree. And I'll be using these twine carrots. As well as one of these little chalkboard picks. These come in a four pack from Dollar Tree. I'll be using a little bit of floral foam and also some of this green Spanish moss. This is from Walmart, but you can pick up moss at Dollar Tree. I'm going to start by cutting a piece of my floral foam and putting it into my bucket. And I want it to only go about halfway up um, the bucket. So I don't want it to go all the way to the top. I just need a little bit in the bottom as a filler. Then I'm going to add a little bit of moss, just enough to tuck down around that piece of foam to hide it. Then I'll place a few of my carrots kind of randomly in the top of the bucket. I'm going to put five in there. Typically an odd number is uh, what you would want. 
Then I'm going to make my little sign using the little chalkboard pick. And Dollar Tree does carry these chalk writers. However, they have a pretty wide tip and they're hard to write on small things with. So uh, I use a chalk marker that I picked up at, I believe, Michael's quite a while ago. I've had them for years and they last forever, but they have a more fine tip and they're easier to write on smaller items. Then I'm going to just poke that down into the foam that's in the bottom of the bucket so it will stand up. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the moss just to build it up and I want to make it a little bit more messy and more organic looking. everything I picked up. I'm pretty happy with this haul and I'm excited to start doing more Easter and spring DIYs using these items. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more DIYs of what I do with some of these items. Also, be sure to leave a comment on this video to be entered into my Dollar Tree mystery box giveaway that I will be giving away at the end of March. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.